What is up everybody? We got our third video in the playlist in the Indie Hacking series. We're gonna take this idea for a piece of software, video projection for pool players, and try to make it a reality and make it successful. This is the third video, like I said, check out the playlist in the top link of the YouTube description. And today, I'm gonna to be showing you how I used Adobe Figma to create a prototype of the user interface that will be cast onto this pool table. And so I used Figma, like I said, which is just a UI design and prototyping app. And the reason we do this is so that A, any other stakeholders involved in the project will be able to see what it looks like and how it's supposed to function. And then B, when you hand it off to developers, they'll understand the functionality requirements along with also the UI aesthetics. So I'm gonna take you through the screens that I've prepared here. I also have a camera that is mounted above the pull table so you can kind of see everything that I'm doing. Now, of course, it's just a wireless mouse, optional wireless keyboard, and you can literally use it right on the pull table, which is very cool. So if I click this, uh, the typical thing that you need is a table calibration. Again, this doesn't really function. I do have little interactivity like hovers and stuff, but I can't actually move this around. But basically it's important when you have a pool table, which can be a different size of seven, eight, eight and a half, nine, 10 feet pool tables, uh, that you are able to really cal calibrate the table and make sure that it understands, the software understands the bounds of your table so that everything can line up. Fortunately, pool tables are pretty much proportional in terms of you know the seven, eight, nine foot and 10 foot variations. Now, once we get the table calibrated, then this is where I differ from the competition. They don't have any internet connectivity. I'm going to have internet connectivity with mine and you'll see why in a second. So if I just click this, stay offline, this is the primary UI and it's very simple. It's just a few call to action buttons. And also it's important to understand that I, we may have to create the option to rotate this UI. So it may be in this you know, the long portrait version instead of the landscape mode. So a super simple UI. One thing that's real important as well is uh, based on the power and the specs of the projector, uh, it may not be as bright. It may be more pixelated. Uh, mine's pretty decent, so there's no issues there. And so when I was designing the app, I made sure to use black because black is devoid of light and also white. And so even though this looks like blue, it's only because this particular table has blue cloth. So white is going to give us the maximum contrast to so account for any issues with a lack of lumens and brightness essentially. So just to show you here, I, the, the, this is the main UI where you can browse drills that are both default drills that kind of ship with the system or community drills if you have access to the internet. Now this is what's awesome. Anybody will be able to create a drill set or a course if you will that teaches and focuses on, focuses on some specific element. Now, if I click on one of these, it's gonna give you an idea of maybe of what one of the actual drills look like. I'll show you in a second or a little bit, I, me actually utilizing the system in order to try to learn how to play pool better. So also, this is another UI that I created, the fundamentals of pool. So this was uh, specific to this particular drill. You know, you can choose individual drills and then settings where you can turn on a grid, show or hide the tangent line, ghost ball, you know, all that good stuff. Now, the other thing uh, to go back here is you can all create a drill. So you can click to add objects and right here and then we can literally left click and drag these balls all 15 of the balls onto the table a cue ball and other things like a target area text lines a, a, a hit position on the ball for english and all that good stuff so let's say you drag two balls on you have your drill then you can go ahead down here and save it to an existing drill set or just create a new drill set and so we have a keyboard here and i'm not sure if it's going to look like this in final form uh, but this is what the prototype is, uh, so that you don't have to necessarily use a keyboard. You could save the name of your drill, uh, hit save here, and then you could start adding additional drills to your drill set, and then optionally choose to publish it to the internet where other pool players will have access to, which is uh, one of the biggest no-brainers uh, in my opinion. And so that is the app in its MVP state. As you can see, it's not entirely complex. There are some things that 
will be challenges that I'm sure that we can work through, but we don't wanna add every feature that's possible because then you just, you get into a development cycle that lasts very long and then the idea may not even take off anyway. So you wanna iterate fast, ship with your MVP features, and which is exactly what we're going to do. Now I'm gonna be promoting this by creating an entirely brand new channel on Pool, where I, as a beginner to Pool, most of the other Pool influencers on YouTube, of course, are pros. I'm gonna take it the opposite direction and kind of just use this system and other things I come up with uh, to help demonstrate how I go, go from like a crappy Pool player to somebody, you know, who actually doesn't suck. And so hopefully this system will help expedite this process, which I know it will because it's really awesome. We've still got much to do in this series, so make sure to subscribe and check out designcourse.com.